Hello. Yes, my friend. You are live on air. Would you like to say to us? Suppose you are a Muslim, yes. right? Yes. Yes. All right. I'm go a ahead. Muslim, yes. Go ahead. Who is uh, so? Uh, what? The topic yeah, is about what? who is uh, who is the one who Allah wanted to slaughter. Uh, sacrifice. Yes. Uh, sacrifice. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. First of all, <laughs> you uh, you gave us the um, that quote from the Quran. That verse that you gave. And you took it completely out of context. Which one? The one that you gave about the the and we made him uh, sacrifice. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, you speak Arabic. Okay. What about it? And you took it completely out of context. Why I took and it you out? didn't talk about the other verse that said, "Waqala inni zahibun ila Rabbi sayhdin." Rabbi Hibli min as Salihin, Fabasharnahu Bigulamin Halim. Okay. So we gave him the good news of a forbearing son. Thank you. Who's that forbearing son? Can you tell me who, who? it is? Who? You tell me. No, you, you tell me. Because well, I, mean, I don't know. You see, no, you see you are, you, you, okay, you speak Arabic. That's wonderful. Yeah. Here we go. This is this is Tafsir al Qurtabi. Can you read for me in the screen? Let me see. And we ransomed him with a great sacrifice. No, read in the screen. And it's in Arabic. And you no, translate. Not, you say, okay. And you translate, please. And you, and you translate. And you translate. Go ahead. Okay, it says, this is Tafsir what? Tabari? This is al Qurtubi. This is al Qurtubi. Faqala aktharahum. Read carefully, please. From here. Faqala aktharahum. Translate from there. What is. Ah, okay. Faqala aktharahum al Zabih ishaq. Mm. Translate. Okay. Translate. Who's Translate. Translate. <laughs> and most of them said most the sacrifice them. is Isaac. Okay. okay. Who, who is most of them? Shit. Okay. okay most listen, of them is, most of them is shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say most of them is shit? First of all, first. No, no, no. Wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait. Uh. That doesn't mean that most now you have to remember. I'm remembering all of friend, these I remember you just said the word shit. I'm asking, later you, on. I'm asking you, most of them they say it is Isaac. Who is most of them? Who are they? The the scholars. Okay. But, but you look, just told hold on, but you just told the people here that I talk the word and the meaning out of context, blah, 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 blah. But when all the, no, 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 the majority, listen, listen, hold on, listen, listen. the I, majority. What I meant, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Mm. What I meant, what I meant mm. is that you only took one tafsir, which is no, I did not. No, I did not. So let, no, just, no, let I did me not. read no, I did not. Tafsir Ibn okay. okay, no, I did not. I did not. Even Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, he could not hesitate to mention that this is his mention exactly. And but Ibn Kathir, he don't agree with it. That's all. But Ibn Kathir is just a guy who came six hundred years after. We have here it says that the one who agree with this is the following names. Look how big the names. Who is Ibn Kathir? Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of your prophet, and the one who became a caliphate, and the Umar ibn Khattab, and Abu Huraira. So who is Ibn Kathir? Do Ibn Kathir count next to those names? Well, of, like, of course not. But but what I'm saying is that Ibn Kathir mm. is one of, is one of the top scholars. No, of he's Kathir not. In no, he's not. You just told me. You just told yes, me. Yes, no, 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 no. no. Of... You just told me he don't count next to them. You just told me they don't, he don't count next to them. I mentioned to you Ibn so Abbas. I mentioned to you Ali Ibn Abu Talib. I mentioned to you Omar Khattab. Ibn, Mas Ibn Mas'ud. Okay, let me ask you. Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud or Ibn Kathir? Okay, that's of course Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud. Okay, so Ibn Kathir then, Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir he go back to school. So Ibn Kathir, so, Ibn, so you cannot, you just agree, you just agree that Ibn Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud is a way higher, of course. So Ibn Kathir is an idiot compared to Allah. So why you are taken now, Ibn Kathir, against your prophet, against your Ibn Abbas, against Ali Ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of your prophet, and the caliphate, and against the caliphate Umar, and even Abu Huraira. How come Ibn Kathir now the one you like? You dump all of those which are the most high, and you take the most law.
between okay 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 look 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 i'll tell you something i'll tell you something i'll tell, tell you something, something. Tell me okay? something. Go ahead. i i concede in that point okay mm -hmm. there's no problem in that okay i was wrong at that point but what i'm saying is that using common sense who's the older son of them thank you who's the oldest one is it ishmael or thank isaac you. okay thank you allah he blessed who of them which one which one was Just blessed Ishmael, by Ishmael? Because when when did it, okay. when did Abraham? Okay, hold on. Abraham hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Made his supplication. My my friend. Okay, my friend. Hold was on. Was it after Ishmael was born? Okay. Or hold not? On. Hold on, or hold on. Okay. Birth? All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. When uh, when it says here, you, you are the one who mentioned to me this verse. It says, and we gave him a glad tiding of a uh, uh, boy, forbearing boy. Correct. Okay, yes. All right. Who is this boy? Ishmael. And what about Isaac? It's Ish Ish Isaac came after Ishmael. Isaac came after Ishmael. Okay. Yes. Okay. But is it because is it Ishmael but, but is okay older but 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 did God but did God told Abraham you will have Ishmael who told him you will have Isaac? When did he tell him you will have Isaac? Let us go. When did he say an exact okay, name? Is that, is that real? Which one Allah he gave as a gift to, to Abraham? I, uh, Ishmael or Isaac? Ishmael. Let us see the Quran. Okay. And I'm glad that you speak Arabic. And that will solve a lot of problem. Here we go. Read for me. Chapter 6, verse number 48. 84, sorry. Well, uh, well, and we bestowed upon him Ishaq, mm -hmm. Isaac, mm -hmm. and Yaqub, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Each of them we guided, mm -hmm. and before him, okay, where, we is, guided where, is, where is Ishmael? You, you are the one who said to me that he should mention the uh, there's no Isaac, you should mention first Ishmael. Where is Ishmael? This is not related to his supplication. No, though. no, no, no. Where is when Ishmael? Why Allah did not say? Why Allah? Okay. okay, Allah He gave as a gift to to Abraham. Well, all all the children are gift of God anyway. You, my children, your children too, right? So, uh, uh, but your God is saying, and we bestowed upon him, and he named two names. Correct. And then he jumped to talk about names have nothing to do with this and Noah and uh, David. I mean, uh, I look, I look at this madness here. How David, how Noah became between Jacob and David. Do you see there's something wrong here? And how Job, he became between Solomon and Yusuf. Obviously, the one who is making those names up or putting them together, they don't, they don't match. They have nothing to do with each other. Nothing to do with each other. Same time, if we go in different verse in the Quran, it says, uh, chapter 11, verse number 71. You said to me that when Allah He told Abraham, we are going to give you a son. It is Ishmael. You said that. I ask you, who is this one, the, the Ghulam and the Halim? You said to me, this is Ishmael. Ishmael. Okay, read the verse. And his wife was standing and she laughed. But we gave her. Don't say the word shit again. That, that no 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 wait, wait wait wait. This happened after Ishmael came. My friend, the verse here, the Quran is so clear. You you are the one who said that Allah He gave a glad news, a tidy news. Okay, so why this is a, the guy already have a son? The, the the Abraham already have a son. So what this is a news is about? Why it's a big deal? As you see, Allah He bestowed a gift. On Abraham and that is named as Isaac and after him Jacob read it yeah mm. and the same time I want to to, uh, uh, to to remember that here it says that there's a miracle happen she said like in she's amazed how I can mm -hmm. have uh, you know I'm an old woman so this is the gift of God 
the gift of God is a miracle because she's an old woman. Ishmael, he was not born from an old woman. This is why actually Abraham, because he gave up that his wife, his wife, she is very old. She cannot have kids. So Ishmael was a gift from God. Not as you, we prove now, it was Isaac. Isaac is the gift of God for he is having miraculous birth. This is why it was a glad, like a big news. So the first verse you mention is connected to this verse, as you say. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I guess I was wrong. All right, that's wonderful, my friend. Yeah. All right. Where are you from, my friend? Do you like to say where are you from? Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, I'm from the U.S., but I'm originally Egyptian, so... Egyptian, okay. You know what? I'm going to change the topic for you. Forget. Okay, so now I prove that I'm right, and I, I, I respect you, by the way, for saying that you were wrong. I respect that in this person, by the way, because usually some arrogant people, they like they go stubborn. I mean, even if he knew, you know, if he knew that he is wrong, he go like, no, no I'm not wrong. This person, I can tell, I, I have to respect him for, for, for admitting that he's wrong. And nothing wrong with, with being wrong. Yeah, I when got you find you. out, yeah. you say, "Okay, I was wrong." So let, let me ask you, my friend. You, as a person who is speaking Arabic, a Muslim, and I am a Christian, how you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Well, because like the like the problem, the the thing is, the thing is. <laughs> That's what I was taught, basically, growing up. I understand, my friend. I'm just asking you. Now you are a Muslim already, and you are calling me, and you I you have. Truly a, I truly believe that he I, is I a prophet. I, I can tell. I can tell you have some knowledge too, which means you studied, you learn. You are not just uh, like you know. You learn. So, based on what you learn, how you convince yourself that Muhammad is a prophet? Can you use what you, how you convince yourself to convince me that Muhammad is a prophet? Like you can't, you can't. Like, what is the benefit? Basic. So basically, look, I will go. I, I will use your logic right now. Hmm. It's a scam. It's a lie. He's hmm. a false prophet. Okay, but for what? Okay, let us show you from the Quran. Okay, what is the benefit of doing such a thing? I mean, the Thank guy you. wasn't living in a palace. The guy wasn't doing all. I will use stuff. your logic. What the benefit? Here we go. And what plus, what like, is the benefit? Of, my friend, I don't know what your name. What, what's your name? He has a lot. Of, what, what I shall call you, my friend. What's your name? Uh, I don't want to say my so name. Me because name, any, what, what my name is... No, okay, Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah, okay. This is Muhammad. A verse in the front of us, chapter 33, verse number 50. And you speak Arabic very well. It says, any yeah. believing woman, she offer herself to the prophet, yes, thank you. What does this have to do with God? Why God in the seven galaxies be, be find, behind the seven rivers and the seven seas he is worrying, he go to his office and he writes saying, any woman she want to give herself to the prophet so the prophet he can have sex with her. What does this have to do with God? You just say to me, if Muhammad is a scam, what is the benefit? What does this have to do with God? What does this, what this have to do with Islam? Okay, Islam is about worshipping one God, praying to God, blah, 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 blah. Okay, but what does this have to do with God? But any woman she can give herself to the prophet. What that will do exactly to Allah? Yeah, well, because there is like وقت, uh, وقت the reason why this verse came down, mm -hmm. there are reasons for these verses that they came down. There are certain events that happen. Okay, tell me the reason. You, 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 you see, you are trying to use the logic. God saying to Muhammad, any woman, she want to offer herself, and this is a privilege only to thee. Okay, what that have to do with Islam and Allah? Women coming in the door of Muhammad. Muhammad, take me to your bed. What does this have to do with God? Well, well, well uh, as I said, like there, there is, there are reasons. My friend, tell me the reasons. What does this have to do with God? I'm asking you about the reason. I'm not ignoring the reason. I want the reason. Muhammad is a prophet. He have already. But okay, if you know the reason, okay, okay, okay. I, like, I don't know the reason by heart. I know the reason. It's a fraud, as you said from the beginning. You said 
How you say that Muhammad? I want to go. You said to me, I want to go with your logic. You said that Muhammad is a scam. So what is the reason? He's getting the benefit. You see, all cult leaders they share two things: they want to take your money and they want to sleep with your wife. Let me ask you: Is it true that in the interpretation of the Muslim books, and you are a Muslim and you speak Arabic, which is wonderful, it says that if the prophet he want his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can have her. Well, I I'm not sure. I know I'm not sure about that one. I don't know. I haven't read that one anywhere. Okay, let me I'm let, not sure let me find it for you. I'm taking advantage of having you as a person uh, speak speak uh, Arabic, because if I say that to somebody he don't speak Arabic, you know, we will have a problem. All right. Let us find the reference. <clears throat> and I will I will find an authentic uh, website not like a website maybe made by some uh, people all right this is the chapter of Al-Ahzab I will put it for you on the screen okay. and I want you to read with me carefully please this is I think you know the website very well Quran KSU KSU dot edu sa saudi arabia i think you are familiar with the website right yeah i know this website is right. it's the most trusted one when you want to look for tafsir that's wonderful okay and this is tafsir al qurtubi let us go down and as long as you speak arabic that's really wonderful you will find this The privilege of the Prophet, they are counting the privilege of the Prophet. The number one is the best of the booty. Does it say that or I'm lying? Safiyul Magna. Yeah. Okay, the best yeah. of the booty. Number two, Al Istibdadu bi khums al khums aw al khums. He will have inc all inc inclusive. The fifth of the booty. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. All right, thank you. Then they continue and then they say Arabia. To increase more than four wives, correct? Al-Khamis and Nikahu Bilavdil Hiba, which means he do not need to get married. A woman she said, take me, she's his. Okay. Number six, to have sex with the women without her perm the permission of her parents. Yeah, Nikahu Bigayri Wali. Thank yeah. you. This is a privilege only for Muhammad. It's all about sex. Then number seven, and nikah without paying, he do sleep with women without paying them. Number eight, he can have sex even when he's around the Kaaba. Number nine, he can take an oath and his oath in the front of his wives, and he is not going to be uh, like it's okay for him to take a false oath for his wives. Number ten, okay. and I want you please to translate, was was al Ashir. إذا وقع بصره على امرأة وجب على زوجها طلاقها وحل له نكاحها. Translate please. Yeah, if if he puts his eyes on a woman, uh, her husband has to divorce her, and he can marry her to take her. Okay, okay, I look. What is the authenticity? My friend, this is your books. I mean, you are you're asking. Yeah, me. I know. This is Ibn al-Arabi. This is not the Christian prince. This is not me and you. This is not Ibn Kathir. We are talking about big okay, names. Blah, blah. So, and so, listen, listen. Did your prophet, he did practice that. This is about what? This is about the, 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 the uh, Zayd and Zainab. His eyes fall into Zainab and he forced him to divorce her. This is what the guy is saying. He likes Zainab. The guy, he came to him, okay, take her father. Zain, Zayd is the adopted son of Muhammad. So look at this. You said to me, what is the benefit? Okay, what he is doing this? He take the first, the, the, uh, the fifth of every attack, which means if the Muslims attack an, a, a Christian village or a Jewish village, the fifth, Yeah, he takes the fifth of the booty. Yeah, thank you. The, not only that, the best of the booty. Not only he will take the top. Safiyul Maghanim. You know what Safiyul Maghanim mean, right? The best. 
like the biggest TV, the biggest car, right? So what are you telling right. me? Obviously, he's a gang leader. And now, not only that, I mean, why a prophet of God? He see with my respect to your family, Mr. Muhammad, I'm not trying to insult, or let us say me, I'm so, so you don't be offended. Let us say I'm a Muslim and I'm married, and my wife, she walk in the front of the prophet, and then the prophet, he saw my wife, and now I have to divorce her so he can sleep with her. Be honest with me, is that right to do? Yeah, that's... Uh, like me, I, personally, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But what guarantees you that that might happen, you know? Because at the end, if you look at it, he's a he's a prophet. What the prophet? Okay, see here we go. So God see, has to keep him away from you know, away maybe from getting seduced by other people or if, stuff like he this. He seduced like, already. Look at this. He, a woman walk by. He wanna have her. I mean, the guy is already married. He have thirteen wives, and he have many sex slaves. So why he wanna have a married woman? It's not enough what you have. He's not like a single guy. He cannot find a woman to marry him. And how in the world a woman she is married she have a husband just because your eyes fall into her you force the husband to divorce her so he can have her immediately you know what wajaba mean right it's a yeah. must it's a must it's for a her must. husband to divorce her if somebody tried to do that to you with, with my respect your family are you going to let him do that to you to be honest no Okay, so how you accept Muhammad doing that to you, to 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 you know whatever people? This is first not just. Secondly, Muhammad he proved that he have no ethic. Number three, Muhammad obviously he have a benefit, money and sex from this religion. He's not serving God; he's serving himself. He made verses. Look what Aisha she said. Do you know what Aisha she said to him when he made those verses? She said, Inni ara rabbuka ya Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. I see okay. your God is uh, okay. doing whatever he can to please you. All right. So why 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 Allah is uh, what, Allah serving Muhammad sexual desire? Why? What does this have to do with God? It's like you can tell, you know, she she felt jealous. Okay, She's no problem. Wife. But my friend, is it is it right? That there's God, the guy he have already many wives, he have many sex slaves, he receive uh, many women as gift, even from from rulers, additional to the women he kidnapped them from their husbands. So what this is about? Aisha, she is said clearly. Now she trying to put an excuse why she did that. I felt jealous, but the fact she did not feel jealous. She noticed that his God, this guy he wished to have this woman. Here we go, a verse come. This guy he want to have a verse come. Which means Muhammad he subjugated God to his sexual desire. Do you believe that religion have an ethic will teach you to have sex with your daughter? And then, no, that's like that's just disgusting. But that do you do you, do you hear Muslim saying how the Bible says that Lot he slept with his daughters? In the Bible, have you ever heard this accusation by Muslims? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always like they, they always okay. tell me that, uh, of course. I mean, right. brother, look at the read their books okay. and look at just. But you see, the Bible, the Bible things. doesn't say that God he says to uh, Lot or to his daughters go and have sex. This is what they did. It's like me now reporting a crime happened right now in Manchester. Somebody he took a knife and he started stabbing people. But this is not God saying that. The Bible reporting a story, and here you see the hypocrisy. Now, if I show you right now, and you speak Arabic, and I'm taking advantage yeah. of having you actually as my guest, okay, that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery, are you going to leave Islam? Um. Well, look, I've I've always had this problem hmm. because, like, they say that okay, if Muhammad, I always ask them if Muhammad can do these things, then why didn't God permit it to Jesus, Abraham, and all these other prophets? Why well, it's only him? 
So I already had this problem, but I don't know. If you can prove it, then show me. Right. Show me then. I want to see it. But I want to see it from an authentic source because sure, like, sure. there's no way you can marry. Your... I've never seen anyone do that who's a Muslim. Oh, no. But, they, will, uh, but... they will count for you many names, actually, in the reference. There's many names. Uh, if we go to chapter uh, 25, hold on. I will put it for you on screen. Give me a second. I'm just trying to open the same website we opened before. As long as you are familiar with it, uh, look like all right. I will build it for you. All right. This is we go here to chapter. All right. This is the website you agree and you know it. It's very authentic, correct? The same website. Yeah. All right. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. You can see my screen? Yeah, I can see. Okay. Tafsir al Qurtubi. Let us read together. Because some Muslims, they say that I'm lying about translation. It says, Qawla Ta'ala. Nasab al Wasihra. An Nasab al Wasihra ma'aniyan ya amina kulli qurba, etc. Brother. Qawla ibn al Arabi. النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم بنته من الزنا لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صهر شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا بنت أو بنت أم ولا أم بنت وما يحرم من الحلال لا يحرم من من الحرام. Translation. I will translate or you translate. Go ahead. Translate. You translate. Okay, well, show me Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Can no, you show no, me no, Tafsir Ibn Kathir? You, you, you said to me, show me, right? I'm showing you. It says. Okay, but sometimes but we have say, like, between the say, ulama. My, my we friend, have my friend. No, no, no. Hold on. Does it say that a person who have a daughter from adultery, he can have sex with the mother and the daughter? Oh, yes, yeah, from, yeah, from adultery. Okay. But does it say too? Does it say? لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ لَهُ بِنْتٌ لَهُ According to the most authentic opinion, I don't know what happened to my mouse. It's not working. Hold on. I hope my mouse is not out of. Uh, I don't see it. What happened? <laughs> my mouse is not working. It doesn't say there. Let me fix it. it. Doesn't say there that this is according to the most opinion. Of scholars, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, Read with me. Yeah, well, I guess. Yeah, well, okay. I guess you can do that. All right. Uh, so, and this is according to who? To the most accurate opinion in the religion, right? وفي أصح قولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين. What kind of religion this religion is? You can have sex with your daughter. This is not Lot having sex with his daughter when he was drunk. And his daughter, they want to have kids because they, there's nobody around them. They were afraid that uh, uh, they will not have kids and they will nobody will, they will not be surviving. This yeah, I, I understand. But okay. also, if, if if you look at the bottom, it says, اختلف الفقهاء في نكاح الرجل no ابنته من الزنا like they, they have differences in this case but this is Islam my friend Islam all it's about about differences nobody agree about anything but as you see here it says أصح القولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين the most accurate opinion your prophet he says لا يجتمع لا تجتمع أمتي على باطل do you agree so if the majority yeah. agree upon something according to Muhammad it must be true and the majority agree. Yeah. 
so the majority of Islam according to Muhammad is the one who we should consider and the one we should consider is the one saying you can have sex with your daughter as long as she is a daughter from adultery what they are saying there the Quran just to make it clear Quran forbid anyone to have sex with his daughter but if she is daughter from marriage if she is not daughter from marriage just what the verse saying here he can have sex with the mother and her daughter and there is many stories about many who did have sex with their daughter uh, and they have sex with the with the mother or even they have sex with the sister and they marry the wife or even have sex with the uh, you know I mean it's it's all there's tons of stories so what do you think about this Muhammad yeah uh... Uh, uh, um, yeah, that's just disgusting. To be honest, I mean, I would, I definitely wouldn't do that. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, what kind of religion? You are disagreeing about we can have sex with our daughter or not? I mean, this is crazy. I mean, this is some, something should not be discussed. Uh, uh, correct? Yeah, of Me and course. You, we should I mean, not discuss. We should not debate about it because this is come on. This is really, this is really sick. So, the Muslim they come to us, they say the story of Lot of having sex with his daughter, which is not God saying to him, "This is what the daughters did." If I now, if my daughter, I don't have, I'm not married, I don't have children, but let us say for the sake of argument, my daughter, she gave me drugs and she is, a, she and she did something with me when I am asleep. Can you judge me by that? No, I can't judge her. Did God say that to her? No. So here we have different story. Here we have religion teaching people that if you have a daughter, she is not a feminine marriage. You can have sex with her mother and your daughter, which means if a Muslim man, he have a, uh, he have a girlfriend and his girlfriend she have, she gave birth to a daughter. He can sleep with the mother and the daughter in the same time. Ah, uh, yeah. I, de I definitely wouldn't do that. I mean, that's just, that's sick. I wouldn't do that. I don't know who does this, well, to this be is, honest. This is, okay. Well, Muhammad, when he had sex with Zainab, and she is the wife of his son from adoption, isn't it sick too? Yeah, but she divorced him. Doesn't matter. Say, no, 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 hold on, hold on. First of all, she did not divorce him. Muhammad, he went to the house and he flirted with her. Don't you know that? You, well, do you have any like um, no I didn't know that like where did you guys did a hadith okay hold on let, 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 uh, sure we have hadith I mean you know and an authentic see? one maybe sure, sure, or... sure. hold on hold on hold on okay yeah you know uh, the Quran even saying that okay hold on let's see when the story said chapter 33 verse number 37 when you say to the one which uh, uh, Suppose that Allah bless him, uh, hold your wife for you, but you hide what is in your what Allah bestowed on you. Okay, what He bestowed on you? That this is your woman, take her. The Quran saying that Muhammad was a hypocrite man, saying to the man, keep your wife, while his heart is something else. He wants the woman. This is Quran. Now we go to the interpretation. Chapter 37, sorry, 33, verse number 37. Yeah. And we go to Keep 37. Keep your wife to yourself and fear Allah. Yeah, but he want her. <laughs> Hypocrisy. I imagine I, 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 I want the women, but I say to the husband, no, come, keep her, man, keep her. Hmm? Okay. Now look at this. And I'll, uh, I will show you. We will go right away to the reference. Read with me carefully, Muhammad. I really, I really respect you, guys. Can can you uh, uh, deny that this this gentleman is a very? I can't tell. He's coming from a good Muslim, Muslim family. I can't tell because usually people are very arrogant. You show it to them in the front of them. They deny. They change the topic. But look, this guy is a decent guy. Not because he's agreeing with me, because he's agreeing 
that this is what is written because this is the truth usually this is real to happen so I have a lot of respect for you my friend Muhammad even though maybe this is not your real name listen it says here وقال مقاتل زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم زينب بنت جحش من زيد who is the one who married Zainab to uh, uh, Zaid? Muhammad. Okay. I, want, I want to take take a note. And then, فَمَكَثَتْ عِنْدَهُ حِينَ ثُمَّ أَنَّهُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ أَتَى زَيْدًا يَوْمًا يَطْلُبُهُ فَأَبْصَرَ زَيْنَبَ قَائِمَةً كَانَتْ بَيْضَاءٌ جَمِيلَةً جَسِيمَةٌ مِنْ أَتَمِّ نِسَاءِ قُرَيْشٍ فَهَوِيهَا وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح فذكرتها لزيد ففطن زيد فقال يا رسول الله اذن لي في طلاقها <تصفيق> translate يا محمد I will leave the translation for you go ahead yeah he was at Zayd's house and he saw her and? Um, and what he said get up mm -hmm. and she was white good body mm -hmm. and all that stuff and he said and he and, and he yeah. how we have what how we i mean he liked her right yeah well uh he liked her yeah and then what he said uh, subhanallah mm -hmm. so, uh, woe to god who moves hearts mm -hmm. or, his heart move he's, he, but he's he's talking to who to a married woman and this married woman is married to his son. This is why he's allowed to be there when the husband is not there, correct? Yeah, correct. You know, you as a Muslim, you don't accept a strange man to go inside your house if you are not there. Unless maybe he's your brother or your father, correct? Correct. Okay. So Muhammad is taking advantage of being the father of this guy, getting inside the house when the man is not there. What he do? He flirt with his wife, with the wife of his son. And look, yeah, but but if you continue, like if you continue to read, hmm. Zaid uh, told him, uh, no, 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 hold on, let me continue. Her. Muhammad, Muhammad, read. فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح. So what she, Zainab, she heard, which means Muhammad, he said that loud. When a man yeah. he say that loud, it means he's he is telling her, is flirting. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Like yeah, I might like a woman, but I don't say. I mean, let us say all of us, we commit sin. All of us, we are sinners. And I was okay. walking in the street and I saw a woman, maybe she is married. I'm like, wow, she is beautiful. But look, he did not even say she is beautiful. He said clearly that Allah, he made his heart flip. And he said that loud and she heard it. She mentioned what his father said to who? To Zaid. Until this moment, they do not want to divorce the wife. Look what it says. Fafatina Zaid. Did you see did you see the word Fafatina? Yeah. He got it. Zaid, he got it. Fafatina. And then he went to, to, to the Prophet. He said, Ya Rasulullah, then leave talaqiha fa inna fiha kibara. So he is trying to get rid of her. Obviously, Muhammad, he wants her. He knew he would kill him if he would not get. So he went there. Obviously, he was happy with her all this time. He never complained. Now, suddenly, Zaid is not good. Sorry, Zainab is, 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 is hurting him. No. He is trying to say, okay, you want her? I heard what you said to my wife. She is not good for me. Take her. Yeah. What a shame. Do you accept such a man to be your prophet, Muhammad? A man, you trust him, uh, you give him the key of your uh, your house, and he is he adopts you as a son. He announced, like everybody says, even the, the, the hadith says, that the prophet of Allah, he screamed, he says, everybody from now on should know that Muhammad, the father of Zayd, and Zayd is the son of Muhammad. He announced yeah. many times. So now he go to his house and he betray his own adopted son. Let us forget about being a son. What about a friend? Imagine a friend of yours come to your house and he do that to you. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Uh, I think uh, I think Muhammad is time for you to leave Islam. I mean, there is no way a gentleman like you, smart like you, and I can tell coming from a good family, he will accept such a man to be his best example. This is what they told us, you know, in the Middle East. You are a Middle Eastern, I am a Middle Eastern. Do you and I, the prophet was the perfect man, the most amazing man, blah, 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 you know, uh, uh, like amazing. Even uh, even yeah, Aisha, yeah, they, 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 even Aisha, she they said, say uh, Quran. Aisha, she claimed that Muhammad ethic is Quran. This is ethic. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think, Muhammad? I invite you to leave Islam immediately. You are smarter than than this cult. Yeah, um, just. But if, if if it's like that, if it's like, if this is like true, if this is true, if because look, I just I want to say something. Go ahead. Because we all know that when you have a prophet a prophet's whole life is based on delivering a message mm. and not marrying 13 women and flirting with other women so if it's like that if this is what happens right here then i like the, uh, Uh, there's no way this guy has a prophet. Thank you. I mean to that. Thank you. See, I can tell he is struggling to say it. You are struggling to make the word come up from your mouth. But this is the truth. If this is this and this is this and this is what it is. This is the Muslim books. The Muslims who they are proud about their prophet saying in their books that this is what the prophet did. So what about the one who is not proud about Muhammad? What they do? I am really happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. But I have a duty. I have a duty as a Christian to invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. I believe that you believe in God, correct? Still? Yeah. Okay. And now you, uh, you agree that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. That means he's a fraud. So I invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior right now, right here. And I will be happy to help you but, if you have any questions. But, but, this, but this is a bit confusing because like... I don't know. I don't, it's it's a big risk. I don't know. My friend, the risk. And is, like, where am I gonna go? What am listen, What am I gonna do? Am I gonna be like a Catholic? And if it was, no, 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 no. There's nothing called Catholic, Protestant. It is not. This, this those are the sect. They are not. This is not really what we follow. We follow Christ. We don't follow a church name. Those are names people create them. But what we follow is Christ and His teaching. And the teaching is very simple. You do not need to be Catholic. You do not need to be Protestant. Who told you? Uh, you, you read the Bible. There's nothing. It's called Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. This is not really. This is a division. It's uh, most of it. It's about politics. Christ is our Lord, not the Pope, not a bishop, not a Christian prince, not a priest. We don't follow men. All men are corrupt. We follow only the Messiah. He is the only one we can trust. Okay. So when I invite you to to believe in Jesus, I'm not asking you to believe in any church of those. You believe in Jesus, not on a church name. Those are the followers. Okay. They are not the God. We don't have a bishop is God. He, the Pope of the Catholic himself, he confess his sin every Sunday. He's a sinner too. And the Bible says that every, every soul is commit sin. But there's only one person. He never did that. So okay. what do you think about accepting Jesus as your savior? Okay, I'm going to need you to just explain me one thing, only one thing in Christianity. All right. Just one thing real quick. All right. It's basically about the Trinity. We have always been told that like, okay, how can God be man and how can God die? And Okay. This is, so the question is about the Trinity or about how God can die or which one? Yeah, the entire concept, because like if you say like Jesus is God and he got crucified. Hmm. So like, how can God die? All right. Or like. Okay, you see, I will, just... I will go with you. How God can die. Who said that to you that God died? You see, Jesus, he said, before Abraham, I am. 
before Abraham I am and let me put the screen the, the, the verse in the front of you so before Abraham I am so what what the what the Jews they killed is the flesh of Jesus but Jesus exists previously to his birth from Mary okay so they killed the flesh this is why they say to them you can destroy this flesh and I will build you can destroy this temple he's talking about the temple the body and I will rebuild it in three days about his resurrection and why three just to confirm the Trinity if you read with me carefully okay you will see Jesus saying to them before Abraham I am was I am and then the Jews said to him uh, do we not say uh, rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a, a demon they think that this guy have a demon what he's talking about <laughs> how he before Abraham Jesus answered I do not have a demon but I honor my father and you dishonor me I do not seek my own glory not like Muhammad you see they, okay. there is one who seek and judges and then Jesus continues saying the Jews answer him now we know that you are a demon Abraham is dead and the prophets and you say if anyone keeps my words he shall never taste death okay, all people die so what do you mean whoever believe in me or listen to my words he will not die so they cut him wrong they thought he's saying if you believe in me you will not die but this is not the death he's talking about the, 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 the death where that you will have an internal life which means you will not retest death which is the death of hell you go to hell you will never come back are you greater than the father our father Abraham who is dead and the prophet who are dead who do you make yourself out to be Jesus answered if I honor, I honor myself my honor is nothing it is my father who honor me of whom you say that he is your God yet you have not known him but I know him and if and if I, I if I do not know him you sh I shall be a liar like you but you do not know him and keep his words your father mm -hmm. Abraham rejoiced to see my day and I saw it and was glad Jesus now claiming that he saw and he met with Abraham the Jews they said you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham Jesus said most assuredly I say to you before Abraham was I am and then they took okay. the stones to, to kill him so Jesus confirmed and you see here the word I am do you see the word I am each time okay. Jesus says I am he is saying I am God because when when Moses asked God I'm going to tell my people what I will say to them he says to tell them I am who I am this is the Bible never give really a name as it is as a name as you call him Allah it is I am the one who exists by myself I am there's no name can describe me there's no name can contain me there's no language can tell about me so tell them I am who I am I'm your God so before Abraham I am so when the Jews they killed my friend they killed the flesh which is created by him this is the only creation they only took down the flesh and then Jesus he proved to them that does no grave can contain me no death can take me and he said in many places in the Bible I lay down myself and nobody can take it from me and this is why okay. the Bible says for God he loved the world the whole world including the Muslims the Hindus the Buddhas because he loved the world he sent his only begotten son to save them so the death of Jesus actually proven to us that Jesus is God not the opposite because Jesus first of all he overcome the death which proved to us that yes there is a resurrection even the Quran confirmed that Jesus he resurrect people from death and even he created from the mother bird he breathed into it so Jesus he overcome death by death he went to death and he showed us that by me if you believe in me look what I did he will go they kill me and back you will have the same 
This is why okay. he says, whoever believe in me, he will never die. He will never taste death. And the death he's talking about, death of hell. You, you, you go to eternity away from God. So Jesus here, when he speak about himself, he said, "My, if I witness to myself like Muslim, they witness to Muhammad, and Muhammad witness to himself that he's a prophet. But look what Jesus said. I don't witness by myself. My father, he witnessed for me. And how the father, he witnessed for Jesus in many places. When Jesus, he got baptized, a, a sound in the sky appear and says this is my only begotten son so the Lord the, the, the father he witnessed to Jesus and about I hope I answer you about Jesus being crucified I don't know if this is convincing for you no okay okay you need more explanation no tell me it's okay say it's yes or no it's convincing or not no it's convincing okay yep. because you know see if you shoot me no you shoot me and I came back to the to, to life so <laughs> you did nothing you did not really kill me right Right. Let us say you shot me, you kill me, you crucified me, you cut my hands, and then I came back second day. So what? What happened? What is that? So the proof that Jesus is God actually the crucifixion. Because if he is not, you know, yeah, yeah, I, he should I not be coming back to life. He I, should be like me and I, you. When we die, we never come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I, I want to say something. There is yeah. something, and it's something weird that I've never got a straight answer, actually, about Christianity. From one of my Muslim teachers, I asked them, they said, Allah put a guy in the image of Jesus to get crucified. But then I asked the question about, well, I guess then it's not the fault of Christians because who deceived them? Exactly. It's Allah. Exactly. Exactly. So, like, it's so weird, like, to get, you know, this entire idea was in my head that, like, okay, wait a second, who deceived them? Right. Then. Was it the Jews? The Jews didn't get a guy who looked like Jesus and they crucified him. It's actually Allah who did it. So Correct. how can you blame him? This is Quran, so, chapter like, 4, verse 157. So not only that, actually, this verse confirmed that we Christians, we did not corrupt our Bible because we just wrote there what we saw. And that's me. We are honest. And the one who was dishonest is Allah, as you said, because he made us see someone in the cross, but it's not him. So what's, what's, what's my fault? If you are a judge, and you say, hey, Christian Prince, did you see this guy shooting this guy? I say, yes. And then after 600 years, we have a, a God says, oh, you saw him, but it was not really him. It was a clone. That's silly and stupid, correct? Yeah. And not only that, there's no witnesses. I mean, Muhammad, he came with no witnesses. The Muslim, they say, what the proof that Jesus was crucified? We have witnesses. Even the Quran confirmed that, that it made appear to them. So they witnessed the crucifixion of someone look exactly like Jesus. And now what is the choice of like having somebody to be executed, but he look exactly like him in this earth? Even his mother, she could not recognize him. His mother was there. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was there in front of the cross. So now I will answer you about the Trinity. Uh, Muhammad. Okay. Yep. When we say the word almighty, what the word almighty mean? It's just the almighty, like he literally do, the almighty. He can't do anything, right? Exactly. Okay. If the almighty says, I, yeah. or I am God, exists as a three person, you are questioning how he can be almighty or you are questioning how he can be three person? Huh. Because if you question him, how he can be... Uh, Three person, but you just he's almighty. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The reason he's called almighty is because he is almighty. So we we say and we use our, our sometimes we use our logic, we don't think deeply. This is the problem with all people I met with, even those who they are smart, we don't use really a deep thinking. When we are talking about almighty, and then we say how the almighty can be almighty. But you just agreed he's almighty. So if the almighty says, I I am one, but yet a three person, well, because he can do it, because he's the almighty. Same time, mm. when a Muslim, he refused to accept Jesus to be the almighty God. So how he can do the almighty work, including creation, including resurrection, including forgiving sin, including, as I just showed you, he says, before Abraham, I am. How the Muslim explained to us that Jesus will come back in the judgment day. This is almighty work.
how 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 he is alive like like now you ask me a question about how Jesus was killed but shouldn't you ask yourself too how come Jesus is the only one is still alive and all the all the Muslims are dead including Muhammad this is almighty this is almighty act this is not a normal act of a human being do we agree yeah 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 okay yeah, I do agree, so yeah. Jesus proved to us not by saying I am almighty but by doing what almighty do so what Jesus you know if we go in the Quran we see that Jesus mm -hmm. he breathed into the mud and he make it a living bird okay how yeah. that happened the Quran says this is the will of Allah by the by the permission of Allah well this is this is uh, silly because I can say now that Jesus was able to do it by my permission prove me wrong <laughs> you know what I mean I mean talk is cheap but what this verse confirmed to us that Jesus he did almighty work creation why yeah. God want to share the ability to create with someone he's a man okay Allah he was trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet or Jesus is God if the answer is he's trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet will he fail because if Jesus cannot create if Jesus cannot do all those things none of us Christians will believe that he's God do we agree Muhammad he's he's yeah yeah we agree but like there is no prophet that did the same thing right not only the creation you see like there's a story about yeah uh, creating there right. there's, there's no prophet who no prophet. Has ever uh, done this absolutely you're right not only that like there's a story about Abraham uh, uh, asking God for things right and then when God yeah. he, he, uh, he told him to slaughter his son and this is what our topic today uh, uh, Allah yeah. himself he sent a ransom so the Muslim they say to you well why God he need to send a ransom to himself I mean he will sacrifice to himself or to who I mean Jesus sacrifice correct but when God he yeah. sent a ransom he sent it to who to himself in the Quran because the ransom to who from who? who is the one who request the death of Isaac it was Allah and who is the one yeah. who sent the sacrifice it was Allah so Allah is sacrificing to Allah so the same reason the Muslim they say we can't accept this idea that Jesus sacrificed himself to save us is in the Quran because Allah he ransom and the ransom it was not from earth it was from heaven and even the Quran call it a great sacrifice Azim, correct correct okay yeah so the sacrifice have to be from the sky why it have to be pure holy here they say yeah. it's a ram but the Quran describe it this is the translation the Quran already says it is the Puna Azim so Allah don't want the sacrifice. sacrifice yeah he don't want the sacrifice of Abraham he sent his own sacrifice so why the Muslim reject Jesus to be sending or to become as a sacrifice the idea of Jesus being sacrificing is not like a Muslim they say uh, the Christian believe in a human sacrifice no we don't believe in that first of all we believe our Jesus our Lord he is our Lord he is our God he come in the flesh of a man but he did not go and say hey kill me and we Christian we did not put him in the cross he knew the future he knew what they would do to him still because he loved the world still he will do it he did not run away as Quran described Allah took him to yeah. him so no. this is about his knowledge not about he this is why you see Jesus you know is speaking in the Bible clearly that this is like this is a cup he don't like to drink but let your will be done so Jesus here proving to us again that he overcome death and death does not affect him and he came back to us in the same time when we speak about the Almighty power and we ask ourselves why Allah according to Muslims he gave all those miracles to Jesus shouldn't we ask Allah did you try to convince us that he is a prophet or he is God because how Allah he shared the ability of a creation with a man his name is Jesus as long as the Quran confirmed that Jesus he created from the mud a figure of a bird 
and I breathe into it. Who is the one breathe? It's not like uh, Jesus, he made the figure of a bird, and then he says, Allah, hey, Allah, breathe into it. No. And I breathe into it. You speak Arabic very well. You do not need translation. No. Does it say here that... Uh, Let us see the other verse. There's two verses. All right. Read with me carefully. وَرَسُولًا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي قَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ بِآيَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ What he's saying? I create, I create from the mud a figure of a bird and I and I breathe and it's going to be a bird by the will of Allah okay by the will of Allah this is the Muslims adding it but what is confirmed that Jesus he make a figure this is this is also weird because we have that uh, what Allah uh, did to Mary he also Anfakh, he also blew no, in her correct he, he, so it's he, so he, weird that Jesus will blow, will blow in the in the in the clay and also god blows in that he's so no this is how this is how allah he created adam too yeah exactly he blew mm. in the, the like if 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 jesus wasn't god why couldn't he just i don't know like throw it in the air and it would fly and be created why does he have to do the same exact action as god how allah, unless yeah unless he's he, god unless he is the one who created adam so when I have fa fashioned him completely and breathe into him, who is the one who breathed? Allah, supposedly. But we find that Jesus is doing the same as Allah. Yeah. So if Allah trying to convince me that Jesus is just a prophet, he failed. He gave him too much power. Let us say that those miracles are given this power given to Jesus. Not he even can tell you what you had in your house is correct. Does it say that? Read, read, read with me. It says, not only he healed the leper, he made the blind see. Uh, uh, he uh, not only that, he says, I and I inform you what you ate or what you eat and what you store in your houses. How you can do that? Is it the unseen? Muhammad in the Quran says, uh, uh, you know, I don't have uh, the, the knowledge of the unseen. How come Muhammad he have the no knowledge uh, of the unseen, but Jesus have the knowledge of unseen? What do you wow. think? Yeah, Muhammad is a prophet, and the Muslims not only they say he's a prophet, they say he is the greatest prophet. Yeah. So how Jesus he have the knowledge of the unseen? And Muhammad do not know mm -hmm. the knowledge of the unseen. Yeah. And the Quran confirmed that the one who knows the unseen is all is Allah. Allah is all knowing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Allah is all knowing. But as you see, that the one who have the knowledge of how how uh, he's just a man. I mean, how we, how this person, you go and you store something, you hide some money in your house, and Jesus will tell you that you hide this in your house. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So what do you think, my friend? Everything leads us to one thing, that Jesus, even in the cult of Islam, Jesus is nothing like him. He is the spirit of Allah, according to Muhammad. He is Kalimatullah, wa ruhahu, alqaha ila maryam. And not only that, actually, the same verse saying that he is a, the, the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah sent to Mary is the same word confirming the Trinity, but in the Islamic way. Yeah. Because there it says that Jesus is the word of God and Jesus is the spirit of God and Jesus is the messenger of God. When we Christians, we agree that Jesus, he came with a message. But he is the message himself. He is the word. 
And this is what it says in the book of John. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God, or was the God. So Jesus is the word of God. The Quran says that. Jesus is a spirit proceeding from God. Well, this is what the Holy Spirit is about. This is why Jesus said, yeah. I will yeah. leave you. I will not, you will not be alone. Every two of you mention my name. I will be between them. I will be the third. How he can be that? And he said, I will send you the, I will send you the comforter, which means he will not leave us alone. We will be always having the Holy Spirit with us. So the word, the spirit, and the man, that is Jesus. Muhammad here is copying the Bible. But this is a wrong trinity. This is a wrong trinity. We don't believe in the trinity of Islam. We believe that Jesus was the word of God. Yes, but the word of God is God himself. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And how Jesus yeah. can be spread proceeding from him. I mean, isn't it Adam created by God and that's it? Mm -hmm. Jesus, why Jesus is not son of Adam? Yeah, why well, he did he didn't say that like Adam is the spirit of God. And why like, he Maha, is why is it only Jesus? And why just only like in the Bible from, from all mankind, there's only one person, he is not the son of Adam. That doesn't make sense. So who's his father? The Quran says that the father of Jesus is God. Because who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? God. It's not like a man and the women having sex together and they have a son. No. But in the case of Abraham, God gave a gift to Abraham. He gave him Isaac. But Isaac is a son of Abraham, not the son of God. Abraham was sleeping with his wife. But because she is old, she cannot conceive. So God, he made a miracle. He made her able to conceive from Abraham, not from God. But in the case of Mary, Mary, she had been, never been touched by a man. So why all of these things about yeah, Jesus? Yeah, yeah. Jesus? Yeah, I understand. So what do you think, my friend? Uh, I think, I guess you're right. Do you accept Christ as your savior? Uh, yes, I accept Christ. I mean to that. Hallelujah. I mean to that, my friend. I'm really happy for you. Uh, I'm really, really, you made my day. You made really my day. Uh, since three days ago until now, I did not have one convert. And this is not a good news for me because always I have people leaving Islam, calling me in Skype and talking to me. So I'm really grateful for the Lord to send you to me today. So we have this beautiful conversation. And I am grateful that you, uh, uh, you accepted the right way to be saved. Everybody is happy for you. Imagine the Lord is amazing. You call me today to correct me. Correct? Correct. You call me yeah. to prove me wrong. And the Lord, he did his work. It's not a Christian prince who did it to you. It's the Lord. He opened your eyes. The Lord, he guided you. And praise be to the Lord, because he is from now on is going to be your guidance. And my friend, I advise you from now to read the four Gospels, John, Mark, Luke, all the four. And if you have any question, I will be happy. You can call me anytime. Usually, okay. usually I accept only calls from Muslims. But I will give you an exception in case you have a question so I can help you to strengthen your faith. And you can even in the text, if you don't like the call, I will be happy uh, to answer you. Because the devil now will, will try to attack you for you became a tree who is holding the fruits. You see, when the tree holds the fruits, everybody throw rocks at it. Nobody throw rocks at an empty tree. Today you became a tree full of fruits. And the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And since you call me, I told everybody, and you are my witness. I said, this guy is different. This guy is different. He's decent. And your decency, not me, made you be saved. It's your decency. The Lord, he have a decency inside you. And your decency today is the winner. It's not a Christian press. It's you who is the winner. Yeah. I want You're all right. the Christians today to pray to our brother Muhammad here. 
and now I was calling you my friend. Now I want to call you my brother in Christ. And do you like to say anything? People there, look look at them. They are so happy. Uh, I'm I'm honestly just speechless. I mean, like I was deceived for so long. Like I tried everything to do for the past, like eight years I've been trying to defend Islam as much as I can, as hard as I can. And like everyone has a different opinion. Even the holy book, the Quran has different interpretations. This scholar says this, this scholar says that, this scholar says this, and this guy disagrees with all of them. And if you don't believe this, you're an infidel. And no, this is wrong. This is right. I mean, it's just... There is no way this can be the word of God if you have everyone telling you, you know, this is, he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. I just, so, you know, in the past, in the past week, I've had some doubts about Islam and I, I used to look at the sky and I just, and I, I swear to you, I'm not even lying. I used to look at the sky and I used to say like, if you're there, just guide me, please. I don't even know what's right from wrong anymore. Just guide me. And I think he did. And you that. I believe you, my friend. You've been guided. You've been guided and now you have, you are a different person. And now you will see that after you've been guided, you will be a person who help others to be guided too. So from now on, you will be an ambassador to Christ. Remember, you are not a Muslim no more. You just said, I swear, don't swear. Jesus said either you say yay, yay or nay, nay, which means yes or no. Uh, and I'll explain that to you in a very simple way. You see, okay. when we, uh, uh, like in traditionally, I, I understand like in, uh, you as coming from the Middle East, I'm coming from the Middle East. And there, in order to make somebody believe us, we swear, right? We say, I swear, correct? Yeah, correct. Because why? The, the usual behavior of us, we lie from time to time. So to confirm that I'm being honest, now I swear. Look what Jesus said. Don't swear. Yeah, yeah, or nay, nay. Why? Because you should be always honest. Not only when you swear. You know what I mean? So yeah. you swear or you don't swear, you should have to be always honest. And this is the teaching of Christ. So from now on, we do not need to swear. The name of the Lord is not to be used in vain. We respect the name of the Lord. We respect His glory. We respect His Almighty. We will not use His name for little things and or even big things. So, I say the truth. People believe it or not, this is their business. I will not swear. So, slowly, slowly, I understand you are still, you just let Islam. But slowly, slowly, you will see how Christ will change you. You will be a different person. You will be a person, new person with your family, with your wife, with your children, with your parents. And let me tell you something. Now, yes, you are a Christian, but we are not the same as Islam. You have to love your family, even they are Muslims. You have to love your neighbor, even he's a Muslim. You have to love all the Muslims, even though they might throw rocks at you. Even though they consider you an apostate and the punishment is death. That is a Christianity, my friend. With the Christ we live, with Muhammad we die. And this is life. Life is to be happy, and happy will never enter your heart as long as you have hate. The second hate into your heart, it's the same time, the same second, your heart is dead. Maybe your flesh is running and the blood is going through, but you are dead. So today you are alive. And the living Lord is all over your blood. Because he brought love to your life. So from now on, we love everybody. We forget about Islam, the kuffar and the infidels and etc. And this and this is all is gone. This is all is history. The Lord, he loves you. And because he loves you, you are going to love everybody around you. That let the light of Christ shine in your face. And it doesn't matter how what the color of your face. You are black, you are white, you are Asian. The Lord is our Lord, all of us, and we are equal in front of him. He and she, white and black, Asian or whatever, we are all 
the children of Adam and we are all the children of God equally loved by him equally he want to survive us to save us and this is why the Bible says for he loved the world he sent his only begotten son happy for you Muhammad yeah well like thank you like really just I was in complete denial just but I think now I found the right path I'm sure you did anything else you want to say Muhammad before uh, you know I, I can tell you are emotional I don't want to hold you for long you want to say anything else before you go no all Just... right so what we should call, call you now so call you we give you a christian name <laughs> what we should call Just... you peter <laughs> dante i guess <laughs> no problem doesn't matter you can call yourself actually if your name is muhammad keep it muhammad that will be even more amazing that Muhammad the glorifying Jesus that will be beautiful my friend you don't need to change your name I'm just joking thank you thank you my friend Muhammad for calling me and I'm glad to have you as uh, as a caller and uh, the Lord the, the Bible says a happiness in the in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved so now we have a happiness there imagine how much the Lord he loves you we are small maybe smaller than a mosquito for him but yet he loved us to the point he said a happiness in his kingdom will be for one soul is saved thank you and god bless you my friend take care god bless you thank you